YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy, DJ Troy. Hope everybody is good. Everybody's having a wonderful Monday. I hope everybody had a good Super Bowl Sunday. Um, shout outs to the Patriots for beating the Seattle Seahawks. You know, I got to give them up, give them respect. That last play was epic. That last play was awesome. There's just no way that, you know, you could have predicted that. I thought that the Seattle Seahawks was going to win. That's my team. I would have loved to see them win. Um, I know that their hearts are broken today, but listen, the Patriots did what they had to do, and at the end of the day, they closed the deal. So shout-outs to the new champion of the world, the New England Patriots. I know Massachusetts, Massachusetts, sorry, as a state, is entirely proud of what they did. Um, for those people who got to catch the halftime, you know, performance by Katy Perry, she did an awesome job. I don't care if people say that, well, she's looking like Will Farrell. Um, she, there's no way Will Farrell could ever be as sexy as Katy Perry. It's just not gonna happen. So shout out to her. Shout outs to Missy Elliott who came through and turned up. You know what I'm saying? Macy Elliott, what a wonderful performance. What a great performance. I love it. Um, shout out to Mr. Lenny Kravitz, who did an awesome job. It, it was just, halftime show was, you know, great. In terms of the Super Bowl commercials, there was a couple that was impressive, but, you know, it wasn't, you know, this is the first Super Bowl that I've ever watched, and the game itself was more turned up than the commercial. So all the hype for the commercial, it, it, it fizzled. The game, what, 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 what was the, the game? The game with what was what up? You know what I mean? The game is the thing that just like, hey, you know, this is how bad, this is how good it's gonna be. So shout outs to, you know, New England. Shout outs to Seattle, and I know that these team are going to meet again because I think that they're that great. So much respect. I had a wonderful time. You know, I had a great time watching the game. It was just fun. It was awesome. And, you know, on to the next um, thing, which is Valentine's Day. That's coming up soon. Today is Groundhog Day. For those people who don't know what Groundhog Day, it's basically if... You know, in America, what we have is a tradition where if people see, if the, if the ground or quote unquote see a shadow, then we're going to have a terrible winter. So, you know, today's ground or day. Hopefully we have a great winter. Not too bad. So moving on to more, um, serious, um, topic. It was reported that a three year old shot his mother and his father. Yes, you got it three years of age. So now tell me, what is a three-year-old doing with a gun? Again, like the first incident that happened where the two-year-old accidentally shot and killed his mom, parents are leaving their firearms, their guns in, the, in sites where kids could easily acquire these firearms. And what happens? People get killed, lives get lost. So... My condolences to that family. My condolences to the family who, you know, got shot. Um, ACS, the child care company's child care agency, is taking care of it. They're basically going to take that child away from the parents because, you know, that's just reckless endangerment. That's basically knowing that you have a deadly firearm and you have a child inside the house, you're going to leave your gun in the open. So that was just not smart of that parent, you know. Moving on to another trending topic, which is um, Bobby Christina. Um, for those who, people who saw my videos yesterday that I posted, Bobby Christina was found unconscious. Um, as of now, um, the doctors are saying the same thing, that her brain activities has been limited. Um, so they, they're open for the best, but telling the family to prepare for the worst. Because remember that when Bobby Christine and her, her husband and her friend found her, she was basically unconscious and not breathing. So I don't know the definition of being clinically dead, 
right now, but I know that based on, you know, what I do know is that she was gone, okay? But they were able to revive her. So if she comes out of this, you know, this is going to be a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle. And um, I want everyone out there to please keep the Houston family in your prayers because this is a tragedy of epic proportion because I don't think nobody that's watching this video is going to be like, uh, um, I think, you know, it's best that she dies. You know, 21 years of age, she has the whole world ahead of her. She has the old world ahead of her. And, you know, it's just a very sad situation. It's a very terrible situation. So, you know, keep Bobby Christine in your prayers. I'll do the same. Moving on now to the measles outbreak that's been happening around the United States of America. For people who live in the Caribbean, for people who are, you know, outside the United States, you know, we know that as soon as you're born, you get measles vaccination. It's like a necessity. And in some parts of the United States of America, you also get the measles vaccine and you're protected. But what has been happening is that there's been an outbreak of measles where people who never got vaccinated are contracting measles and measles could become very contagious. And, you know, I want the public to be aware of this. What had, what had actually happened in the past 10 years is that there's been a movement for anti-vaccination because parents are saying, well, you know, vaccinations are tied to autism. And, you know, if that was really true, um, you know, there was a been the entire Caribbean, you know, which is millions of people would have been autistic. And as we know, that isn't true. And at the same time, too, there's always that 1%. There's always that percentage of children who get, who when they get the vaccines, they're, you know, they're damaged. So I don't know the truth behind it, but what I do know is that, you know, as a, ch as a mothers, as fathers, you guys need to vaccinate your child because you see something as simple as measles, which we thought was eradicated years ago, is back with us. And it's back in a very bad way. Okay, so um, continue to stay healthy. Continue to do what you need to do. Finally, um, I would just like to say that all my people that is watching this video, I want you guys to just be able to take care of your health. Do what you need to do. Don't get caught up with the hype. I mean... There's a lot of things going on in the world today. There's a lot of things to be mindful for. Yeah, okay.